in an age where official and sponsored violence, because this is violence, are becoming normalized and conceived of as legitimate tools of peace keeping, the distinction between genuine peace based on revisualized social relations and transformational struggles and false peace or pacification is urgent. In the course of answering many of these questions that I've posed, we need to emphatically reject dysfunctional peace processes, oppressive and dehumanizing practices employed in the name of stability. I urge us all to keep central in our minds the many individuals, families and communities who make up our societies to ensure that our work will effectively nurture positive peace and holistic well-being for all.